French Republican Calendar The French Republican Calendar, also commonly called the French Revolutionary Calendar, Calendrier Révolutionnaire Français, was a calendar created and implemented during the French Revolution, and used by the French government for about 12 years from late 1793 to 1805, and for 18 days by the Paris Commune in 1871. The revolutionary system was designed in part to remove all religious and royalist influences from the calendar, and was part of a larger attempt at decimalization in France, which also included decimal time of day, decimalization of currency, and metrication. It was used in government records in France and other areas under French rule, including Belgium, Luxembourg, and parts of the Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, Malta, and Italy. Seal von Maréchal, prominent anti-clerical atheist, published the first edition of his Almanac des Honnets Gens, Almanac of Honest People, in 1788. On pages 14 to 15 appears a calendar, consisting of 12 months. The first month is Mars, Uprin Ketz, March, or first, the last month is February, Oduo December, February, or 12th. The months of September, meaning the 7th, through December, meaning the 10th, are already numeric names, although their meanings do not match their positions in either the Julian or the Gregorian calendar since the Romans added the months January and February to the original 10-month March to December year of King Romulus, the lengths of the months are the same as the lengths given them by Julius Caesar, however, the 10th, 20th, and 30th are singled out of each month as the end of a decade, group of 10. Individual days were assigned, instead of to the traditional saints, to people noteworthy for mostly secular achievements, 25th of December is assigned to both Jesus and Newton. Later editions of the Almanac would switch to the Republican calendar. The days of the French Revolution and Republic saw many efforts to sweep away various trappings of the Ancien Régime, the old feudal monarchy, some of these were more successful than others. The new Republican government sought to institute, among other reforms, a new social and legal system, a new system of weights and measures, which became the metric system, and a new calendar. Amid nostalgia for the ancient Roman Republic, the theories of the Enlightenment were at their peak, and the devisers of the new systems looked to nature for their inspiration. Natural constants, multiples of ten, and Latin as well as ancient Greek derivations formed the fundamental blocks from which the new systems were built. The new calendar was created by a commission under the direction of the politician Charles Gilbert Rom, seconded by Claude Joseph Ferry and Charles Francois Dupuis. They associated with their work the chemist Louis Bernard Guyton de Morveau, the mathematician and astronomer Joseph Louis Lagrange, the astronomer Joseph Jerome Le Francois de Lalande, the mathematician Gaspar Monge, the astronomer and naval geographer Alexander Guy Ping, and the poet, actor and playwright Fabrady Glantine, who invented the names of the months, with the help of Andre Thuin, gardener at the Jardin des Plantes of the Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle in Paris. As the rapporteur of the commission, Charles Gilbert Rom presented the new calendar to the Jacobin-controlled National Convention on September 23, 1793, which adopted it on October 24, 1793 and also extended it proleptically to its epoch of September 22, 1792. It is because of his position as rapporteur of the commission that the creation of the Republican calendar is attributed to Rom. The calendar is frequently named the French Revolutionary Calendar because it was created during the Revolution. But this is a slight misnomer. Indeed, there was initially a debate as to whether the calendar should celebrate the Great Revolution, which began in July 1789, or the Republic, which was established in 1792. Immediately following July 14, 1789, papers and pamphlets started calling 1789 Year One of Liberty and the following years to NGIE. It was in 1792, with the practical problem of dating financial transactions, that the Legislative Assembly was confronted with the problem of the calendar. Originally, the choice of epoch was either January 1, 1789 or July 14, 1789. After some hesitation the Assembly decided on January 2, 1792 that all official documents would use the era of liberty and that the year 4 of liberty started on January 1, 1792. This usage was modified on September 22, 1792 when the Republic was proclaimed and the Convention decided that all public documents would be dated year 1 of the French Republic. The decree of January 2, 1793 stipulated that the year 2 of the Republic began on January 1, 1793. This was revoked with the introduction of the new calendar, which set September 22, 1793 as the beginning of year 2. The establishment of the Republic was used as the apocal date for the calendar, therefore, 
The calendar commemorates the Republic, not the Revolution. In France, it is known as the Calendrier Republicain as well as the Calendrier Révolutionnaire. French coins of the period naturally use this calendar. Many show the year, in Arabic numbers, although Roman numerals were used on some issues. Year 11 coins typically have a 11 date to avoid confusion with the Roman 2. The French Revolution is usually considered to have ended with the coup of 18 Brumaire, year 8, November 9, 1799. The coup d'état of Napoleon Bonaparte against the established constitutional regime of the direct war. The Concordat of 1801 re-established the Roman Catholic Church as an official institution in France, although not as the state religion of France. The Concordat took effect from Easter Sunday, 28 Germinal, year 11, April 8, 1802. It restored the names of the days of the week to the ones from the Gregorian calendar, and fixed Sunday as the official day of rest and religious celebration. However, the other attributes of the Republican calendar, the months, and years, remained as they were. The French Republic ended with the coronation of Napoleon I as Empereur de France, Emperor of the French, on 11 Primaire, year 13, December 2, 1804, but the Republican calendar would remain in place for another year. Napoleon finally abolished the Republican calendar with effect from January 1, 1806, the day after 10 Nevos year 14 a little over 12 years after its introduction. It was, however, used again briefly in the journal Officiel for some dates during a short period of the Paris Commune, 6 May 23, 1871, 16 Floreal 3 Prairial Year 79. Years appear in writing as Roman numerals, usually, with Epic September 22, 1792, the beginning of the Republican era, the day the French First Republic was proclaimed, one day after the convention abolished the monarchy. As a result, Roman numeral I indicates the first year of the Republic, that is, the year before the calendar actually came into use. By law, the beginning of each year was set at midnight, beginning on the day the apparent autumnal equinox falls at the Paris Observatory. There were twelve months, each divided into three ten-day weeks called decades. The tenth day, decade, replaced Sunday as the day of rest and festivity. The five or six extra days needed to approximate the solar or tropical year were placed after the months at the end of each year and called complementary days. This arrangement was an almost exact copy of the calendar used by the ancient Egyptians, though in their case the beginning of the year was marked by summer solstice rather than autumn equinox. A period of four years ending on a leap day was to be called a Franciade. The name Olympique was originally proposed but changed to Francie to commemorate the fact that it had taken the revolution four years to establish a republican government in France. The leap year was called sextile, an allusion to the bisextile leap years of the Julian and Gregorian calendars, because it contained a sixth complementary day. Each day in the republican calendar was divided into ten hours, each hour into 100 decimal minutes and each decimal minute into 100 decimal seconds. Thus an hour was 144 conventional minutes, more than twice as long as a conventional hour, a minute was 86.4 conventional seconds, 44% longer than a conventional minute, and a second was 0.864 conventional seconds, 13.6% shorter than a conventional second. Clocks were manufactured to display this decimal time, but it did not catch on. Mandatory use of decimal time was officially suspended April 7, 1795, although some cities continued to use decimal time as late as 1801. The numbering of years in the Republican calendar by Roman numerals ran counter to this general decimalization tendency. The Republican calendar year began the day the autumnal equinox occurred in Paris, and had 12 months of 30 days each, which were given new names based on nature, principally having to do with the prevailing weather in and around Paris. Note, on many printed calendars of year 2, 1793-94, the month of Thermidor was named Fervidor, from Latin fervens, hot. Most of the month names were new words coined from French, Latin, or Greek. The endings of the names are grouped by season. Dor means giving in Greek. In Britain, a contemporary would mock the Republican calendar by calling the months, wheezy, sneezy and freezy, slippy, drippy and nippy, showery, flowery and bowery. Hoppy, Croppy, and Poppy. The Scottish historian Thomas Carlyle suggested somewhat more serious English names in his 1837 work, namely Vintage Arius, Fogarius, Frostarius, Snowus, Rainus, Windus, Boodle, Floral, Metal, Repeter, Heededer, 
and fruit eater. Like the French originals, they are neologisms suggesting a meaning related to the season. The month is divided into three decades or weeks of ten days each, named simply. Decades were abandoned in Florea April 1802. The Catholic Church used a calendar of saints, which named each day of the year after an associated saint. To reduce the influence of the Church, Fabre de Glendine introduced a rural calendar in which each day of the year had a unique name associated with the rural economy, stated to correspond to the time of year. Every decade, ending in zero, was named after an agricultural tool. Each quintity, ending in five, was named for a common animal. The rest of the days were named for grain, pasture, trees, roots, flowers, fruits, and other plants, except for the first month of winter, nevos, during which the rest of the days were named after minerals. Five extra days, six in leap years, were national holidays at the end of every year. These were originally known as Les Sans Culottes, after Sans Culotte, but after year 3, 1795, as Les Jours Complementaires. Below are the Gregorian dates each Republican year, and in French, began while the calendar was in effect. The calendar was abolished in the year 14, 1805. After this date, opinions seem to differ on the method by which the leap years would have been determined if the calendar were still in force. There are at least four hypotheses used to convert dates from the Gregorian calendar. The following table shows when several years of the Republican era begin on the Gregorian calendar, according to each of the four above methods. For this calendar, the Ron method of calculating leap years is used. Other methods may differ by one day. Time may be cached and therefore not accurate. Decimal time is according to Paris mean time, which is 9 minutes 21 seconds, 6.49 decimal minutes, ahead of Greenwich mean time. Leap years in the calendar are a point of great dispute, due to the contradicting statements in the establishing decree stating. And these two specifications are incompatible, as leap years defined by the autumnal equinox in Paris do not recur on a regular four year schedule. Thus, the years 3, 7, and 11 were observed as leap years, and the years 15 and 20 were also planned as such, even though they were five years apart. A fixed arithmetic rule for determining leap years was proposed in the name of the Committee of Public Education by Gilbert Rahm on 19 Florian 3, 8 May 1795. The proposed rule was to determine leap years by applying the rules of the Gregorian calendar to the years of the French Republic, years 4, 8, 12 etc. were to be leap years, except that year 4000, the last year of 10 400 year periods, should be a common year instead of a leap year. Shortly thereafter, he was sentenced to the guillotine, and his proposal was never adopted and the original astronomical rule continued, which excluded any other fixed arithmetic rule. The proposal was intended to avoid uncertain future leap years caused by the inaccurate astronomical knowledge of the 1790s, even today. This statement is still valid due to the uncertainty in delta t. In particular, the committee noted that the autumnal equinox of year 144 was predicted to occur at 11.59 and 40 seconds p.m. local apparent time in Paris, which was closer to midnight than its inherent 3-4 to four minute uncertainty. The calendar was abolished by an act dated 22 Fructidor and 13, September 9, 1805, and signed by Napoleon which referred to a report by Michel Louis Yen Regnaud de saint jean d'Angely and Jean Joseph Maunier, listing two fundamental flaws. The report also noted that the 10 day decade was unpopular and had already been suppressed three years earlier in favor of the seven day week, removing what was considered by some as one of the calendar's main benefits. The 10 day decade was unpopular with laborers because they received only one full day of rest out of 10, instead of one in seven, although they also got a half day off on the fifth day. It also, by design, conflicted with Sunday religious observances. Another criticism of the calendar was that despite the poetic names of its months, they are tied to the climate and agriculture of metropolitan France and therefore no applicable to France's overseas territories. The 18 Brumaire or Brumaire was the coup d'état of Napoleon Bonaparte on 18 Brumaire and 8, November 9, 1799, which many historians consider as end of the French Revolution. Karl Marx's 1852 essay The 18th Brumaire of Louis Napoleon compares the 1851 coup of Louis Napoleon to his uncle's earlier coup. Another famous revolutionary date is 9 Thermidor and 2, July 27, 1794, the date the convention turned against Robespierre, who, along with others associated with the mountain, was guillotined the following day. Based on this event, 
The term Thermidorian entered the Marxist vocabulary as referring to revolutionaries who destroy the revolution from the inside and turn against its true aims. For example, Leon Trotsky and his followers used this term about Joseph Stalin. Emil Zola's novel Germinal takes its name from the calendar's month of Germinal. The seafood dish lobster Thermidor was probably named after the 1891 play Thermidor, set during the revolution. The French frigates of the Floréal class all bear names of Republican months. The Convention of Nine Brumaire in 3, October 30, 1794, established the École Normale Supérieure. The date appears prominently on the entrance to the school. The French composer Fromental Alévi was named after the feast day of Fromental in the revolutionary calendar, which occurred on his birthday in year 5, May 27, 1799. Neil Gaiman's The Sandman series included a story called Thermidor that takes place in that month during the French Revolution. The Leavec Shared World series uses a calendar that is a direct translation of the French Republican calendar. Saramonet's Doctrine of Labyrinth series borrows the Republican calendar for one of the two competing calendars, their usage splits between social classes, in the fictional city of Melusine. Jacques Rivette's 1974 film Celine and Julie Go Boating refers to the calendar and its hours of the day. Alan Tanner's 1979 film Miss Eider presents a haphazard summer road trip of two young women in Switzerland. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.